If there was ever a game that showcased how crazy Dragon Ball could get, it's undoubtedly Dragon Ball Heroes. I say this because it involves comical ideas that generally don't make sense. It also includes forms that are just literally out of this world, ideas that have never been thought of. It's just crazy. It's all a ginormous pack of what-ifs. It's been quite some time since the last portable version of the game came out, which is Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission for the Nintendo Switch and the PC. And this is the first Heroes game that was actually brought about to a global audience. Because beforehand you had the collaborations with, for example, Dokkan Battle, where you'd have some English translations, but notably, for example, Hearts, who was featured in the last Hero Celebration, did not have an English dubbed active skill. As a result of this, World Mission remains a very big pinnacle in the hero's lore, so to speak. It's one of the more unique releases. There are still a large number of people that play World Mission, myself included, and I believe that it's good that people still support this game and play this game. This is because that the more that they do this, the more that the developers have the excuse to produce a secondary global release for heroes. In other words, there's a market or a player base for it. Now, World Mission is based on the arcade game, where you have, in this case, seven cards in a team or a deck, and you use these cards in a variety of ways to combat your opponent. The main instance of this being the charge impact. Now, in the arcade, when you spend 100 yen you put into the machine, you will get a card. Now, obviously, you can't do that for these portable versions for the PC and Switch, so instead you have a Gasha area, which I'm displaying now. This Gasha area works a little bit like, well actually it's more exactly like Dokkan Battle or Legends, where you have a currency, you spend it, and you see what cards you may get. You've got your own customizable character, your hero avatar. Usually it's either beat or note. And there are quite literally thousands of cards to play with, which is really fun. If you want to learn more about the game, I'll link a document in the description below that will feature basically everything you need to know about heroes in the arcade and in general. Now the cool thing about World Mission is that you can also create your own cards as well as your own missions, which is something I didn't expect but was really, really intrigued by. And when I had a look at it, I realized I could make all different types of custom characters like, you know, Super Saiyan 3, Gogeta or Trunks or anybody. And you've also got the custom missions which you can unlock more features as you play the game and as you play other people's custom missions online. It should be noted, of course, that the games aren't cross-play, so if you're on PC, you can't access Switch missions or anything like that. The funny thing is, people just started abusing this mechanic to grind Super Dragon Ball's special abilities and this sort of thing. It's really funny. On the Nintendo Switch, the top mission is just a 5-star Jaco mission, <laughs> which is hilarious. Now let's go into battle and try out some of the newer cards that I haven't really tested yet. I'm gonna try and get the charge impact here. Usually I'm okay at it, sometimes I'm not too great at it. It is what it is, you know what I mean? And there's also, of course, special attacks that you can do in the game. Not just super attacks, but stuff like Dragon Fist and Spirit Bomb. There's all different types of things. It's just mind-boggling that this isn't like an official game. This is not like a fan-made translation. Which, by the way, Ultimate Mission X for the Nintendo 3DS, somebody did make a fan-made English translation of that game. So, just wanted to point that out. It's very good. Although, I don't believe that one was fully complete yet. Another thing about World Mission, as well as Heroes in general, is you've got these battle modules. So, you collect them as you play the game, and you can activate them in the game. So... Like, for instance, there I recovered my stamina. Sometimes you can damage the enemy's power and guard. Sometimes you can even capture your opponents and uh, use them. I believe the mechanic is it's a camera. You capture your opponents if successful, and then summon that character that you've captured to fight for you in another battle. Now here's Gogeta with a pursuit chance. Always love this move. It's nice to add some extra damage. We've got the EX Dragon Fist here from Gogeta. I'm gonna have to mess up the footage a little bit because I believe Bandai actually copyright claims some stuff from Heroes, so be mindful of that if you're showcasing some stuff. I don't know why they do it, but they do it. 
and here we have a bunch of transformations so all of these Gokus are going to transform so this is going to be really nice to see. The thing with this usually when you transform you have to slide your card up and down you have to try and get it to the maximum point sometimes it doesn't work but that's okay. If you get it to that point you should get it great and everybody transforms just as fine. If you do get a perfect though, you get a small bonus. A Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. This is Super Saiyan Blue itself from the Broly movie. He do <laughs> he looks a little goofy, but you know, hey, it's still Broly movie Goku. And here is Super Saiyan God, I think. Yes, yeah, Super Saiyan God. And up next is Ultra Instinct. Specifically Ultra Instinct Sign. One of my more favorite forms. But even so, I think we'll give the win to the two Vegitos who are attacking first. Got a special final Kamehameha. Absolutely broken move. And Galactic Spirit Sword. This was added to Dolkan, I believe. This specific super attack. <laughs> That's so cool. A decent damage too, 15k. And there you have it. Anyway, that's just a little showcase of Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission and why I think it's important that we don't forget about this game. Because quite frankly, the more localized versions of heroes we have, the better. Obviously, of course, we have you know the promotional anime, which is... Uh, it has fan translations, not official translations. So, hopefully one day they can bring more heroes content to the global scene. But we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching. Have a good one.